Hello and welcome along to Greyhound Gold for another week. David Short and Peter O'Neill with you. How are you, Pete? I'm going very well. It's good. Glad Hector to. Bale hasn't won since I said it couldn't win. Well, it did actually win the first week when you said it couldn't win off the inside there, but uh, we won't go into uh, specifics too much. Let's get into our run of the week. Speaking of runs of the week and big performances, the man to my right tipped this. He was very keen on it last Friday night, and wasn't it impressive? The Greyhound's name is Mozza. It come from box number five over the 405, and kaboom! Have a look at this out of the lids, Pete. Uh, they just got off the mat, and it was about four lengths in front before uh, they barely got going. Um, really good early split. Opened up a very, very very nice break mid-race. Hercule Lee from box number two, looking for a tow rope to just stay in touch. Fab's Gem finishes off pretty well for second there. Hercule Lee sticks on okay as well for third. But a five-length victory for Mozza and the overall time, 22.31, Pete. That makes it the quickest 405-metre run for three years. Only five dogs have gone quicker on the new track. Outstanding. Run of the week, Mozza. Well done to Connections and you, trainer Johnny Iwanick. He's got it going well, hasn't he? Mozza and a very talented chaser over the four. I'm actually excited to see it when it steps up here at Kennington over the 520. I think it'll be one of those dogs like Johnny's old uh, campaigner Thunderama that used to jump and run. Probably gets the 520 a little bit too much, but if he gets in front, he'll be very hard to catch. Be looking to break them open down the back. Let's have a look at our best bets for Good Friday chasing at Mandra. Of course, the meeting gets underway. Five minutes to two. Don't let this one get under your guard, punters. Extra uh, super pick, Shorty. There is Tab an extra. Yeah, absolutely. An additional super pick up the sleeve of Tab Touch customers to use on the program. You might like to use it on race three, number seven, Fab Philippi. This uh, Greyhound has been racing really, really well, Pete. There's no pace around it. Coming off a 22.70 win last time out. The key is just getting up there on top of the speed, which I think it can with that lack of pace around it. Fab Philippi, the best of mine on Good Friday, race three, number seven. Looking for a bit of value with race eight, number one, Peak Manelli. This dog's been placed three of its last five. Gets a little bit out of its ground, but it's been really charging to the line. Just hoping gets a little bit of luck in transit. And it's going to be each way odds. Certainly an each way play. Race eight, number one, Peak Manelli. Plenty of respect for Sunset Octavia, the kennel mate in the this race, who is having its first look at Mandra, but recent form's been good. I'll stick with Pete Manelli each way, though, Pete. Speaking of Johnny Iwanick, uh, Constant Ram is a greyhound who loves dropping back to master's grade. A class above these. I'm hoping to get $1.50. You'll probably tell me I'll be lucky to get $1.20. But if we can get $1.50, jump aboard. It's the best bet. It's in race 12 on Good Friday, number four. And an each way special, race uh, seven, number five, Prometheum. Had no luck at all last start. Was a really good second. Just a little bit of luck out of uh, box number five. I think it's a really good each way chance. We'll switch our focus to Saturday night chasing here at Cannington and I'm going to go to race nine number four Azura Q for my best bet of the program it's been racing really consistently three wins in the placing from its last five starts uh, does get its opportunity once again here from box number four should be able to put itself right up there in the frame early and from there take a bit of running down race nine number four Azura Q and I'm going my value play race six number two quids in this grain has been showing good pace its last couple of starts been going along quite nicely this looks to be the sort of race where it might be able to just sneak up, get a good look at the arm and from there take a bit of running down. Once again, we should be getting decent odds about it. Race six, number two, quids in. I was going to go Hecton Bale, but I lost the house last time I tipped it. So I'll go race three, number one, not available. Really good winner at last start. That was its first win actually in Western Australia for new trainer Chris Holtz. Steps up to the 600. I think that's actually more advantageous. Draws box number one and I think can either lead throughout or be very, very handy to them. And then race number five, number six, it's a ball. It's in the Keith Harding uh, Canning Trophy, first time ever we have the Keith Harding Trophy. Great to see Greyhounds WA and Rawa naming this race in honour of, of a Hall of Famer and uh, the late Keith Harding who trained some outstanding chases over the time and It's a Ball was the quickest qualifier last week and with the early speed on the inside I just think he'll get a really nice card into this race and might be able to miss all the trouble and be very hard to beat. Yeah, it should be a wonderful night of chasing on Saturday and a wonderful to see that tribute to Keith Harding as well, one of the all time great trainers here in at Western Australia. Pete, on behalf of myself, you or everyone at Tab Touch and everyone here at Greyhounds WA wishing all of our viewers a very happy and safe Easter. Many winners to you all. We look forward to catching you again next week with another edition of Greyhound Gold.